Michael Jones. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing, but how do they pull it off? I have no idea. Oh shit! No, I just a PI. The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the oh, war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Come on, pop your head back out. Go on. You're dead. Someone coming around? Someone about to roll up on me? Oh, shit! Someone tried to roll up on me. How oh, dare they? How long do you think you oh, can shit. hold out? All right, I think this guy... Hello, kitty. Stop being so obsessed with my fingers right now. Please. Where's this other guy? Uh, alright. I guess he's not even in this room. Oh, shit! Oh, god, he's got a shoddy, too. Come on, die! Oh, he doesn't have a shoddy. He has a Tommy gun. Oh, well. It's still a better gun than mine. So I'm glad I killed him. Alright, well, that's a lot of dead bodies. At just a library. I need a word, that Courtney. Is. That's okay, Jack. <laughs> you, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund. What are you talking about? Don't the fuck suburban with me, Courtney. redevelopment Jack, I fund. Swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your that's name appear as one of the investors in the suburban redevelopment fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? I know more Still than you, Courtney. I think. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. What? That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, that's they're building nice matchstick thought. houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Oh, say it isn't so. You're such a little bitch. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Yep. We tried, bitch. <sighs> Kitty, seriously, please, leave me alone just for a couple minutes. Just for a couple minutes. She likes chewing on my fingies. All right, Kelso's apartment. This is Kelso's apartment? Uh, where's my phone? Here it is. Jack Kelso. Who's yes. asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd oh, get great. around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Uh, okay. <laughs>
It was interesting that we told him goodnight. Yeah, you gotta tell Cole. I think this is the end of the game. If I'm re remembering correctly, this is like the end. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly, though. Alright, so let's go to his mansion. Get fucked over. Why not, you know? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I like the music. Forty six Packard. How much does that cost? I didn't even get a chance to look. Probably not much. Now, what are you going to do with a shotgun all the way over there? I appreciate the help, all of you. Oh, okay. You can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys oh are Oh my god, GIs. Manny! That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned Fucking out quite the you. way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Oh, fuck yeah. Please don't die, Manny. I fucking love you. I need more cutscenes with you. Alright. So, I guess I'm supposed to kill these guys? I guess? Keep your head down! Alright. Let's try and do this without killing man uh, Manny. Manny's important to me. Uh, okay. Throw down your gun if you like. I'm still gonna ice you. I'm still gonna ice you. Where? I need a better gun. <laughs> I need a way better gun. Uh, where is this dude? I'll get him. How long do you think you can hold out? Gotcha. I'm taking this gun. I need it. Ugh. Keep going up here. Got the bastard. Move up. Uh oh shit, there's a lot of them though. You're surrounded and your you. buddies are dead. I'm hiding in like the dumbest spot. Like there's so many holes. Whoops, Let me I didn't see mean if to do that. Put one between your eyes. Oh shut up. Stay no, down, run, run. It. Oh my god, no! Please don't shoot him. He's my baby. That's it. Out of ammo. Please don't shoot my baby. Your move, mister. Don't you sh guys, they just keep yeah. popping up. Clever asshole. There. I'm gonna find you. Got you in the head. Good kill. Alright, man, yeah. hold the perimeter. That was a I very good kill. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. I don't know, I just want to see him, though. Come here. F Come here, Manny. Hi. Hey, baby boy. You can walk. I love you. Oh, my God. I'm getting shot as soon as I walk in. What the fuck? Two of them on your right. Oh, yeah, thanks for that. I love you, but seriously. It would have been a little more helpful with that. Um. Wait. Oh, okay. I see. There he is. Ow! <laughs> Fuck Keep yeah! On going, Come on Jack. in, Manny. Oh, you guys are staying out there. All right. Stay safe. Ah! Who are you, bitch? Oh my God! You think I won't shoot you? You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in Manny. the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? <gasps> ah! <sighs> wow! Yeah, she deserved that. Don't shoot me and then act like so surprised, like, oh my god. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. She didn't. She did it by accident. You could tell. I was never very good at reading women. Why did you punch me? Monroe! Her? Where are you, damn it? Where are you? Gotta talk really stern. Get the fuck out of here. 
get the oh god, you get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Oh shit. All right, what's this? I'm taking it. Take it. There we go. I guess I gotta go upstairs. Ugh. Ah. I'm good. Oh god, I'm good. That's gonna do. Oh god, what the? That guy's like right there. All right, hold on, hold on here. Hold on. Time out. Get a time out, man. All right. Well, I'm definitely not going that way. Okay. Yeah. No one in the bathroom? I find that hard to believe. Interesting. No one's in here. Oh, I gotta go this way, though. This is an awesome bathtub. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. That's awesome. Hell no, bitch. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crazy son of a bitch! Oh, you, you crazy son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. Mm. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> That's my second offer. <laughs> you sadistic bastard! <laughs> What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. All right. So, what do we got around here, huh? Let's see. None of this stuff seems to be of use. Oh, got some guns there. Uh, one seems to be missing. That's unfortunate. Oh, here's a newspaper. Well, let's look at this first, I guess. What is this, The Last Supper? The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. It looks like The Last Supper. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. All Dr. right? Fontaine. I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for proof. California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. You almost killed, too. I don't know what to say. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I that's not. That it's wrong duped. guy. Never mind. <laughs> Who do you it was think Kelso that almost got killed. Subterfuge. Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. Oh, God. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hoped that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, oh, God. <clears throat> all of your so, troubles are finally over. Did he kill him? Oh. Let them go. Hmm. Huh. Is he just... What is he doing? Let them... Drift away. I want... Okay, I don't know if he killed him or he just gave him enough, like, heroin to knock him out. I'm assuming it was heroin. That's probably a safe bet. <coughs> Alright, now what you got here in this folder? Sawyer! Some sold up. The, the others obviously didn't oh. know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Oh, we're done? Okay, now what? Oh, what's in here? Lots of cash. <coughs> That's a hell of a payroll. Uh, alright. I don't understand that. <laughs> Whatever. 
All right, here's another one of these. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is 4, only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Wow, f I'm so confused. It, why does it say shares $100 each and then say 4000 up there? Oops, uh, hold on, wait, I didn't look at the folder. I don't know, I don't understand stuff like that, I guess. Can you stop, like, moaning and groaning in my ear? I know you're in pain, but seriously, I don't want to hear it directly into my ear. Uh, smart. Keep so the Dr. Fontaine. Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so they have the doctor distributing it, I guess, which makes sense. Or at least holding on to it. All right. You can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the you Emperor all of Japan. Already have money. Have some fucking mercy. <laughs> Operator, put me through to Phelps. Arson I have spot. mercy for the people you're fucking scamming. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Wait, what? Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I don't understand this. Uh, okay, Elsa, where? Thank God. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, Elsa, where? Fontaine, dead, a former patient. Is, what is going on? Is he talking about Courtney? Why did he say Elsa's name? I'm confused. Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! What did I take? <laughs> Kill her, you son of a whore! Give me a goddamn doctor! <laughs> yeah, you can get to the phone yourself. You're fine. You still have a few minutes before you bleed to death.